Hi guys, today we're going to be learning how to play Miss Jackson by Panic at the Disco on acoustic guitar. Whenever I asked you guys if you wanted to see a tutorial for this song, I got an overwhelming response of people saying yes. So I'm really excited to do this song today. I hope that y'all are excited too. If you haven't seen the cover that I've done of this song, I will link it in the card and also in the description because I kind of make this song my own and change up the rhythm a little bit. It's still obviously Miss Jackson. So if you wanna know what the final product's gonna look like, I recommend watching that first and then coming to the tutorial. However, if you're ready to get started, there is no capo for this song, which is great if you don't have a capo, you're welcome. First we're gonna go over the chords that you need. The first chord is D minor and you strum the bottom four strings. The next one is a B flat, which I know it's a bar chord, but you guys can get it if you practice. The next chord is a C major. And then we have an A chord. So now we can go into progressions and strumming patterns. For the intro, the progression is D minor, B flat, A. The intro is played twice in this song. Once at the beginning, obviously it's the intro, and then it's also played one time before the last chorus, just so you know where to do this progression. The way that I do the beats for this is I count to four on D minor and B flat, and then for A, I count to eight. So D minor, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if you're wanting to use single down strums, you can do that. It's totally fine. But what I do in the cover is plucking. I just assign each of my fingers to a string. So on the D minor, it's the bottom four strings and I pluck it out and let it ring. And then I go to the B flat and do bottom five and the same with the A and just pluck it out. So here we go. Coming out the back door, didn't leave a mark. No one knows it's you, Miss Jackson. Found another victim, but no one's gonna find Miss Jackson. So that's what you do for the intro. Pretty easy, just one pluck for each chord. You're gonna be on the A chord for a little bit longer than the first two. And then once I'm almost done with the intro, when I'm on that last A and about ready to go into the muted strums where it does the so I pluck it and then I do two little down strums and mute it one two so I can go into the muted strumming the strumming pattern that I'm doing for the muted strumming is down 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 up up down 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 up a little bit slower down 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 up up down 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 up I don't know how many times I repeat that, but whenever you run out of singing haze, then you stop that strumming pattern. So to mute it, you just rest your left hand over the strings and don't press down. Just keep them there so the strings don't sound. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Hey, yeah, 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 hey, hey, yeah, yeah, hey. And you do your haze before you go into the first verse. The progression for the verses is D minor C, and you do that a total of three times, and then you do B flat A after you do the D minor C three times. I'll give you an example of that. So again, we're doing D minor C, each one for four beats. What I like to do is a heartbeat rhythm of plucking. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. How you do that is you just pluck out and then immediately rest your hand back down and do a second one. And you keep it muted after the second one too. You just put your hand back down. So one, two, go to your C, one, two. So this actually isn't how you're supposed to be holding your guitar. I'm just trying to get it in the shot. You put a sour little flavor in my mouth now. You move in circles hoping no one's gonna find out. But we're so lucky, kiss the rain and let him bow down. Looking for the time of your life. On the B flat and the A, I just do one pluck. Looking for the time of your one mute. And then you go back into one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, because you do it three times and then B flat. Party isn't over tonight. And that's what you do for both verses. The D minor C with the heartbeat rhythm, three times repeat it. Then the B flat and the A, just do one pluck. 
And also you repeat that progression twice for the first verse and only once for the second verse because the second verse is shorter. So that covers the verses. If you're counting out the beats with down strums, it'll just be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's pretty much the rhythm I follow is just counting to four. So to make it even easier on you, the pre-chorus, chorus, and the bridge all follow the same progression. So what it is, I actually need my notes for this. So it's D minor C, B flat C, D minor C, B flat A. You're just replacing on the second line, the C with an A. So it's pretty much the same thing, just that one chord changes. And you repeat that entire thing a total of four times. Two times for the pre-chorus, once for the chorus, and once for the bridge. And that's on the first time. I believe on the last time you do it, you don't sing the pre-chorus, so then you're going to do it a total of two times. But if you can just remember that progression of D minor C, B flat C, D minor C, B flat A, and then you just repeat it. There's a couple different strumming patterns you can use. Of course, always feel free to use single down strums. I'm going to show you the more complicated ones though. The first one is down, 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 up. So if you're starting on that D minor, down, 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 up, 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 and then remember you go to A. Down, 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 up. So if you're singing the chorus, you can sing any part because it's the same for the pre-chorus, chorus, and the bridge, so. Miss Jackson, Miss Jackson, are you nasty? Miss Jackson, Miss Jackson, are you nasty? And I'm doing this really slow just so you guys can get the hang of it. Down, 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 up, down, down. An example of that strumming pattern in progression with the bridge. Oh, 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 oh. Where will you be waking up tomorrow morning? Basically, it's the same thing, just different lyrics. I'm struggling to play today. I'm really sorry. It stinks when I try to film guitar tutorials on the day that I'm really struggling. This is one of those days. I'm trying. The next strumming pattern that I use for any part of the song is down, up, down, up, down, down, up. A little bit slower. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So with that progression, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So with the lyrics, Miss Jackson, Miss Jackson, are you nasty, Miss Jackson, Miss Jackson, are you nasty, Miss Jackson, Miss Jackson, are you nasty, are you nasty, I love it. And what I actually did in the cover is I combined the first strumming pattern that I showed you with the second one. So for example, on the D minor, I would do down, 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 up. And then on the C, I would switch to down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And on the B flat, go back to down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. You can choose what you want to do if you want to alternate those two strumming patterns or just be consistent and do one for every chord. That is awesome. You do what you want. You can also use single down strums, which would just look like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, on the C. And then the next time in the progression, you're gonna do the A. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you repeat that progression again, like I said, for those parts of the song where it has the pre-chorus, chorus, and the bridge. Also, I mentioned before how my version of the song that I'm teaching you does not follow the exact rhythm that Panic at the Disco plays, but it's pretty dang close. It's still gonna sound like the same song, I just simplified it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this tutorial. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel because I would love to have y'all back here for another lesson with me. Don't forget to drink your water, eat your vegetables, and be a good person. I love y'all. Bye.